Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. My micro hydro turbine has been running for about a month now. And during the series, a lot of people were commenting, the intake box is gonna have problems. There's gonna be silt buildup, and I need a way to access the inside to get that cleaned out. I have not done any maintenance in a month. So let's go up here and check it out and see what we're working with. The screen has been self-cleaning very well over the past month. So you can see it just washes off those leaves and uh, it's full to the top right now. And I don't know if, it, if you can see it or not, but there is zero silt down there in the bottom. So this portion here is doing fantastic. Now I am missing a bit of water over here on the side and I have a very fun idea for how I'm going to prevent that from happening. Uh, should be really uh, interesting, um, but that's for a different video. Let's head down here to the barrel intake and see how much silt has built up in the bottom of this. So what I want to do, you can see I still have quite a bit of overflow, which is nice. Uh, so it's full there and full here. People were concerned that air bubbles from up top were going to be entering into the pinstock. So as you can see, the bubbles are coming out right here, but that's all they're doing. They go in and then just bubble right back out here. So there's basically no way that those bubbles right there are going to be getting down into this much water and going into that. Uh, so I want to turn this off for a second, slowly, so we don't bust anything. And that's gonna produce a lot of overflow here. And what I want to do is open up the clean out and see just how dirty that water is to see how much silt has built up in this thing over the past month. I do anticipate a bit of sediment in here, but not sure how much. We've had a couple of rains that were flowing over 400 gallons through the creek here. I'm gonna try to let it... Yeah, not much. Okay. I'm not putting that back on for a second. <laughs> so the water is a little bit colored, but you can see there was very little sediment in there. Let it finish washing any of that out. There's a bit more right there. I actually want to time this and get a flow right now. All right, I'm going to cap this real quick and start the stopwatch. Okay, we should be right about there. All right, a minute and 52 is what it took there. 55 times 60 is 3,300 divided by 112 seconds is 29 gallons per minute that's flowing into the system right now. And I think I have at least one gallon a minute spilling over that I'm gonna be fixing in a different video. But uh, pretty exciting. So after one month of use with some pretty heavy rains, the silt and sediment issue is not very bad here. Now I did look into the barrel when it was empty and could see just some sediment resting around in there. Um, but it was not bad. So let's go ahead and open this back up and get our water going again. <laughs> it's pulling that down pretty quick there. At some point in the future, I'm going to be replacing one of my nozzles with probably a 3 16 nozzle because uh, currently my single quarter inch jet is pulling somewhere around 12 to 12 and a half gallons a minute at the turbine. If I've got 29 gallons coming in here, I could easily use more water at the turbine, make more power, and life would be good all the way around. So that is something to look forward to in the future. And also the intake box up top here, I have a video on how I'm going to get more water into the box and not have so much spill around the sides. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.